Kia ora koutou. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all well and staying safe. Thanks for joining me in this short video. I plan to answer three questions in this talk. What is quantitative easing? How does it work? And is it working? Let's get started. Well, quantitative easing actually has another name as well. Large scale asset purchases, LSAPs. QE and LSAPs are one and the same thing. QE is just another tool that the Reserve Bank has at its disposal to provide support to the economy and along with the official cash rate, use it to lower borrowing costs for all New Zealanders. We are using QE right now to do just that, support the economy so that we can also achieve our monetary policy objectives of low and stable inflation and supporting full employment over the medium term. I'll actually answer this question in two parts. Firstly, it's the same underlying premise as normal monetary policy. In normal monetary policy, retail interest rates in the economy, like your mortgage rates, are set at a margin above wholesale interest rates, just like the retail price of any good that you buy will actually be a markup over the wholesale price of that good. Central banks, if they can influence wholesale rates, they can also then influence retail interest rates and hence the borrowing costs that households and businesses face. Now in the second part to explain how QE works, I'll also show you how it's not too dissimilar to conventional monetary policy. Now in normal times, when we lower the official cash rate because it is a short-term interest rate, it tends to have the greatest impact on short-term retail interest rates, i.e. your floating mortgage rates, though it does have some impact on longer-term interest rates as well. With quantitative easing, it's our way to have a greater impact on longer term wholesale interest rates, government bond rates in this case. So by buying New Zealand government bonds in large quantities, we can increase the price of those bonds, which is the same thing as lowering interest rates at those longer term horizons. So not only can we lower short term interest rates, we can lower long term interest rates. And hence, it's our version of flattening the curve, if you like, and our way of providing support by lowering borrowing costs for all New Zealanders. Well, it's early days yet, but there are clear signs that it is, and I can show you how in these following charts. So what you're looking at here is a chart of New Zealand government bond rates at different horizons, a yield curve. This is what the yield curve looked like back in January. You can see at the very short term, interest rates were close to 1%, which is where the official cash rate was at that time. Here is now the same yield curve in late March. This was after the Reserve Bank had lowered the official cash rate to 0.25%, but before we had started our QE program. While interest rates had fallen at the short term, longer term interest rates had actually increased. This reflected uncertainty about the economic outlook and nervousness in financial markets. And here is the yield curve today in late April. You can see our QE actions have successfully lowered interest rates at all horizons. In the very short term, interest rates are now sitting close to 0.25% where the OCR is, and in the longer term horizon, interest rates are lower. So QE actions have successfully lowered borrowing costs for all New Zealanders at all horizons. And we will continue to use QE to support the economy to ensure we can achieve our monetary policy objectives of low and stable inflation and supporting full employment over the medium term.